Hey, <laughs> let me just zoom you out for a second. Well, oh no, here we go. How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? Uh, did you watch the Met Gala? I watched the Met Gala. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I look forward to it every year because I genuinely forgot. And for some reason my television was on and I saw that the Met Gala was about to begin. And I thought, let me be relevant and watch, you know? And I waited and waited for Beyonce and Rihanna to come out, but they didn't come. But I thought there was plenty of people that looked so amazing. I thought Zendaya looked amazing. I thought Kim Kardashian looked amazing. I thought uh, Kendall and Kylie looked amazing. Jennifer Lopez, her makeup was snatched. Scott Barnes, of course, so good. But I thought I would pay homage to Makeup by Mario because he's just the sweetest man and he does the best makeup ever and there's no way that I could make myself look like what he did but I'm gonna try my best. The whole inspiration behind Kim Kardashian's look was a California girl rising from the ocean and dripping wet but dripping wet of diamonds but also her waist is snatched and I saw a lot of people talking about her waist saying like that she removed ribs. You know, I hope not. So yeah, I'm gonna zoom you back in and we're just gonna get started. A primer, this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. It's like my go-to, you know. I'm gonna do a thin layer underneath my foundation of like a liquid highlight. This is the Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca and I'm just going to, just as a base under all my makeup, um, I just think the whole point of this is to be dewy, dewy, dewy and uh, I don't think it's all about functionality at this point. If I can make this look wearable and functional, I'm gonna look like I'm going to a Met Gala camp themed every day. Start put, putting bedazzles all around my eyes, putting feathers in my hair, but like in a cute way, not like in a 2005 kind of way, you know? Look at this, I already look like Kim Kardashian. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm going to start with foundation and I'm gonna do a light layer of the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Strombali. I think this is just a nice uh, foundation that's like that's like a good base. I'm obviously going to be going in with concealer and contour. Really into the Sigma brush. It's the Sigma Kabuki brush. And it's just been, it's like a angled kind of brush and it helps you get into all your crevices and stuff. So I'm gonna use my Coconut Fit Me. Looks like he really warmed up the skin around the perimeters and kind of shortened the forehead a little bit. This is the number 45 brush by Sephora. It's kind of like a multitasking, like cream contour foundation kind of situation brush. I really like it. Then taking that initial Kabuki brush and just making sure that everything is nice and blended. And then taking the Infallible Pro Glow Concealer in the number, in number two, this is creamy natural. And we're going to place that on the inner corner, really go in. Taking a lighter shade, I'm just gonna place that in the areas that I really wanna make sure are nice and bright. Just making sure that's nice and bright. And then blend that out with a beauty blender. Oh yeah. My hair went being cute and like wet to just being frizzy now, how sad. So I'm actually gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Um, this is like an airbrush flawless finish powder. And I'm going to lightly dust this powder all over the outer parts of my face. And then taking the same Charlotte Tilbury powder in the shade one, I'm gonna put that under my eyes and in the areas that I highlighted. That's a little excessive, but I feel like being excessive is kind of campy, you know? And then setting those areas. I wanna take some powder and just kind of carve out the sides of my nose just to make sure I have a base for the contour of my nose and I can let that kind of sit while I do my eye makeup. I feel like 90% of nose contour is just making sure that you've like set the sides of your nose. So while my nose, you know, is going through its setting session, I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty bronzer in Private Island and start bronzing up the face. I'm going to take some of that bronzer and just shorten my nose, kind of blending out the tip, do the sides a really light blending on the very top of my crease where my brow is and just really blending that out. And then taking one of the Jeffree Star brushes, I believe this is like the contour brush, I'm going to dust away this powder that was on the side of my nose. This is the color Dusk by Glossier. They're little loud paint blushes, you know? And I think it's a really great color. It's like 
a perfect neutrally like flushed color so it looked like her blush kind of started right in the middle of her cheek and kind of worked its way up and then I'm gonna blend that out and it looked like it was all blended even into her bronzer like even going up the sides of her temples it was all very cohesive I just sprayed my face with max setting spray and then I'm gonna go in with the Ofra cosmetics highlighter in Rodeo Drive it looks like the base of her highlight is pretty neutral. Like it didn't look too gold. All the high points of my face and definitely bring that up to the temples as well. This highlight already has a very like wet look to it. So I thought this would be perfect. Her forehead didn't look too highlighted like in the middle. It was just more the outer perimeters a little bit on the chin. So we'll just do that. For the eye makeup, I actually have this cute little eyeshadow palette from Morphe. And it's the, I think it's called the Nude Palette. What is it called? Yeah, this is the Morphe 3B Palette, the Pure Nude. And I'm so excited. It has such good colors in it. And I felt like these would be perfect to achieve that Kim Kardashian look. Um, so this color is called Kinda Natural. This one's called Velvet. And this one's called Deep Hue. So I'm gonna start with Kinda Natural and place that on the outer portion of my eye and then the inner portion of my eye. And I think a lot of this look is just about subtle layering, kind of seeing what works for your eye shape and then adding that glitter at the very end. Really building that shade up. Okay. And then taking that second color, Velvet, which is that more mauve shade, I'm just gonna layer that on top of the kind of natural shade. Just add that right here. And I'm gonna go in with Deep Hue and we're going to just deepen as precise as possible. Super light layers, still leaving that center open, open for business. Not overdoing it, but definitely where you can see it. And then taking an LA Girl eyeliner in brown, I'm going to place this eyeliner on and then smudge it out right along the lash line. And taking a Makeup Forever just flat brush, I know that Morphe has a lot of these. I'm going to blend this out. I always forget about brown eyeliner and I don't know why it just makes you look so like sultry and sexy you know I'm not like the most sultry and sexy of personality so I'll just take all the help that I can get yeah next we're gonna do the brows take a break from the eyes and just do the eyebrows really quick and I'm gonna take the clear brow gel by benefit and place that in my eyebrows I didn't know Kim Kardashian was in the building And then taking soft brown in the micro brow pencil. Wait, what is this called? The Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. In soft brown, I'm going to fill in any sparse areas and just kind of clean up the brow. And now that the brows are on, I'm going to go in with the fun part, which is the eyeshadow that goes in the middle. I actually think that this Solstice, Solstice color by Urban Decay, these are like those moon shadow colors that are super like reflective. I think this shade will look really beautiful in the middle, kind of just like dabbed on. It has that purpley undertone to it that I feel like is what they had. I, I just know that there was like a reflective color in there and just dab it in the middle and bring it all the way up to the brow bone. This kind of adds like that purpley reflect that they had going on. And then taking the Just a Kiss color in the Desi and Katie collection, this shade right here, this has a little bit more of like a golden champagne -y undertone to it. And I'm just gonna put that right on top of the Solstice color to make sure that it's not just like all purpley, it's a little bit gold as well. And I feel like I want the gold to be like the main shade, but then the purple to like peek through right in the middle. All the way up to the brow bone, oh yeah. And then dipping back into this uh, nude palette by Morphe, I'm gonna take that kinda natural color and just clean up around the sides to make sure that I didn't like go too wide with the glitter. Just kind of hitting the sides. And I feel like when I'm like looking down into the side, you can kind of see how it just reflects like right in the middle of the eye. This is the Flesh Pot Eye and Cheek Gloss, just right on top of the glitter in the middle. And while I'm here, I'm gonna start adding the gloss all over the face. So I'm gonna put it right above the brow and just start placing this gloss all along where I put highlighter. 
And I know a lot of people are like shy away from using gloss, but I love using gloss. I even use like lip gloss on my face sometimes when I just want like a pick me up. And then kind of blend around the edges to make sure that nothing is looking crazy. And taking that nude palette from Morphe, I'm gonna take the color Kinda Natural and just kind of smoke out my lower lash line. Just making sure that everything is nice and blended. She just looked so sultry, you know? I'm adding more. Next, I'm gonna put some roller lash mascara on. So I highly doubt they used Ardell Wispy lashes on her. And I feel like these will do the job and they're very similar to what she's wearing. I'm gonna put these on off camera. So just give me one second. It's just gonna happen like this. Okay, so the lashes have been applied and I think that this looks so beautiful. Wow, you know, the only difference is that like, I'm not Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Also, I'm noticing it's very shiny right here. I'm gonna take some of my Peach Perfect Powder by Too Faced and just kind of mattify the areas that I think got a little bit out of hand. Right here, underneath my eyes, around my nose. Then finally, I'm gonna do the lips. I'm going to use the LA Girl Lip Liner and I think this is called Top Nude. Taking Max Honey Love Lipstick, I'm gonna place it in the center of my lips the sandstorm lip gloss by Revlon it's very nude so I wanted to throw this on top of all of it just blend everybody together so that is the final look and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this is honestly so much fun to recreate makeup by Mario is such an inspiration not only as an artist but like as a person and it is always a pleasure it's always a pleasure have a good day night evening morning whatever it is whatever time zone you're in quite the contrary to the met gala i'm gonna go get some taco bell and yeah i'm gonna walk into taco bell looking dewy af <laughs>